You can't keep, you know, um, whipping yourself up into this frenzy that, oh, I've been, uh, I've been, my people have suffered in the past, they've suffered. It's like there's this crazy idea that the more of a victim you are, the, the more power you've got. And it so, sort of makes sense in our society nowadays, but it shouldn't make sense. Because if uh, you, you can't keep, you know, um, whipping yourself up into this frenzy that, oh, I've been, uh, I've been, my people have suffered in the past, they've suffered, you need to pay, pay me this, you need to do this for me, you need to pay reparations, blah, blah, blah. You can't think like that. You need to improve your own people, you need to improve your own mentality and to learn with the strong so you can become strong yourself. You know, it's like the Latin. It's like the Latin proverb says: "The strong do what they can, and the weak suffer what they must." Okay, that's but how the world works. You just uh, need to uh, become stronger. Yeah, you should be able to say it. But, but uh, do, you know. do you think, well, I mean, we're talking about respect. Do you feel that he has a victim mentality that's uncalled for? I haven't heard yeah, what you said he before. What's he saying? Mentality. No, before. it's okay. not completely unfounded. But still, I, I think he's focusing way too much on it. If he wants black people to uh, to have more recognition, to have more, uh, you know, success in the future, you can't keep concentrating yourself on the past of your failures. You can't keep concentrating on the suffering of your people. No worries, no worries. You're only focusing on the past, yeah. and uh, you can't, you, you know, if you keep focusing on the past, you can never look into the future. You, if you can keep looking back, you can't walk forward. For example, the Holodomor is another um, yes. holocaust or another mass it is. Um, killing that's not is. Um, publicized as widely. I mean, how, how, do you, how do you feel about that? I feel very badly about it. I feel very badly that it's not more recognized. And yet, I am not walking around screaming and shouting for the Russians to pay me reparations and to do something because of what they did. The whole war in eastern Ukraine is because um, they sent lots of Russians to eastern Ukraine instead of the Ukrainians who died during the whole of the war and now they feel more allegiance to Russia than to Ukraine in fact I wouldn't say they're the majority but there's uh, there's actually a lot of Russian and it's a problem it needs to be solved in some way and it's a difficult solution honestly but you know I I'm not walking around saying oh the Russians did shit to us we need to uh, wage war upon the Russians it's bullshit it makes no sense we now Ukraine does need to uh, win its own war you can Ukraine needs to become stronger and if we see the problem within ourselves, we can solve it. Now, if we keep seeing the problem in other people, we can't. We can never solve it because we can't change other people without having any power. I'm guessing Raspek might say that Ukraine, although is in turmoil now, in recent years has been a rich country. Um, black people really on mass. Oh, it's been. It's been. I mean, it's moderate as, as far as Europe goes, okay. and I guess well, Europe yeah. is better than uh, yeah. you know. It has richer Africa countries than others. It is Vastly third you world. You can still speak here. Oh, yeah. so it'll pick up. It'll, it'll, it'll still pick, pick up. up. You can just speak. What do you want us to say? What's that? What do you want us to not say or say? What do I want you to not say or say? Man, you can say anything you want, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tell me what, what I'm uh, sorry to you say. can say anything you want. Anything. Yeah, you can say anything you want, but then you have to take responsibility for yeah. what yeah. you say. Yeah, okay. You know, as we say in Ukraine, the word is not like a sparrow. Once it flies away, you can't catch it. That's right. That's right. Once you've said it. Yeah, so you, you gotta, everybody got, uh, has to be careful with what they say. Now, uh, what should you say? Huh? What should you say? You should say what shouldn't you say. Well, I think you shouldn't openly um, and uh, you know shamelessly insult other people. I think that's one of the things people so shouldn't do. For example, if I come to a person and I say, you pussy, 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 like Red Boy does sometimes. Um, he does it sometimes. I think he kind of deserves some of the hate he gets because he's a very disrespectful Rat to people. Boy is the uh, pantomime villain of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, he's pretty right? funny he's though. Lovable, yeah. He's pretty funny. He's, so, he's a so, lovable rogue. So, yeah, yeah. But how do you distinguish Okay, so um, Omar, also known as Red Boy, I'll call him Omar. I don't okay, want to be. Yeah. I don't want to disrespect him too much, you know. Yeah. Um, but look, 
he uh, nobody really takes him too seriously. So he him calling names to people isn't actually that mu that much of a problem. People will just look at him and say, "Oh, look, uh, Red Boy is at it again. He's yeah, yeah. you know he's insulting people again without a reason." Nobody, yeah, nobody will really ta take it seriously. Like, for example, if a madman starts going around calling everybody a piece of shit, nobody will, will really take him seriously. And yet, when you do have the cognitive abilities and the intelligence to have a decent conversation with a person, that is when people will get offended, and they should get offended. Because if you have the intelligence to perceive the things you say as um, as wrong and as bad as and as destructive, you need to also have the choice. You need to be able to do the reasonable choice not to say them because once you start insulting the person that's it the argument is over the conversation is over and all you have is throwing rocks at each other it's not what can you say it's what should you say yes yes uh, as one of my favorite comedians in Portugal says um, freedom of speech is the bell on top of the head of the fool okay that means that uh, we need to have freedom of speech and part of the need of that freedom of speech is so we can see who said stupid shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, we need to know that so we know who to take seriously and who to not take seriously. Go ahead, bro. We're like on a rap work. Can we talk?